When it comes to setting default programs for your files, so anytime you double click on a file it always opens up in the program you want it to open up, not the default program that Windows 7 has defaulted for that file. For example, let me double click and open up the exercises folder because in here I got a bunch of different files. How do I know that they're different? How do I know which one's music, which one's an image, which one's a spreadsheet? Well, if you watch my extensions training video, we go over that in depth. Again, the icons are a dead giveaway. Which one of these is not like the other? We got the blue W's for Microsoft Word, the little music notes for Windows Media Player, but more to the point in my extensions training video, anytime that you go ahead and you save a file, you give it a name, right? Like, here's my castle, save it as a castle. And then the program adds an extension to it, an extension to the name. In this case, it added .jpg. That means it's an image file. When I created a Word document and I saved it, I gave it the name Bibliography, and then it gave it the extension of the name .docx. .doc is for document, and typically .doc or .docx, any files that have that extension, when you double click on it, defaults to the Microsoft Word program. And in this example, let's come down here to promotions.txt. What program is this .txt extension going to open up in when I double click on this file? Double click on it, it always opens up a notepad unless I say, no, don't always open up this type of file that has the extension .txt in notepad. Instead, let's always have it open up in Microsoft Word. So to do that, let me close out. Well, first of all, you may be asking, why would you want to do that? Well, let's say that it's just easier for me to manipulate text and to do word processing in Microsoft Word. Then you could say, well, why didn't you create your promotions text in a Word document? And I could say, I always have, but then I get emails from other people that don't have Microsoft Word that send me text files. So instead of opening it up here, I can always have it default to open up in Microsoft Word, and then I can save it as a Word document file. In any case, to go ahead and set this file type to always open up in Microsoft Word instead of Notepad, come down here and click on the Start button, go up and click on the Control Panel, then come up here and click on Programs, and then go over here and click on Make a File Type Always Open Up in a Specific Program. Click on that link and give it a few minutes while it goes through all the different types of files and their extensions here. Well, there's quite a few. And it's sorted by name. It looks like ascendingly. So I'm going to have to come over here and grab this little scroll bar and click and drag it all the way down to the T's. Because remember, it's a text file, so there it is. And you can see that this extension or file type is always going to open up in Notepad. I want to change that. So select it, come up here, click on Change Program, and let's have it always open up in Word. Select it or just double click on it. Give it a second why it updates, refreshes, and it says, okay, any extension or type of file that has the extension, txt, opens up in Word. Let's take it for a test drive. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Close out of here. And come over here and double click, and it opens up in Word. See, it makes my job easier. Then I don't have to open it up in Notepad and then copy and paste it over here, or just right click and always go up to open with another program. It's automatically doing that for me. Of course, if I make any changes and save it, it'll still save it as a TXT file, unless, of course, I click on the Save As and come down here and say, save it as a different type, a Word document or other types here, okay? Close out, close out. And then, if you want to go back and change it too, always open up a notepad. Just rewind the video and, of course, follow the same steps, but this time, choose your program notepad. Now having said that, if you have some types of files that you'd like to associate to one program, but you don't want to do it individually, well, there is a way you can do some bulk setting, and I'll show you. Come down here and click on the Start button, go back to the same place, Control Panel, go to Programs, and then come up here and click on Set Your Default Programs. When you click on it, you can go ahead and select the default program and see what currently types of files are associated with it. So let's look at the Windows Photo Viewer. Down below it says, this program has 7 out of 11 defaults. Well, what are those defaults? I can come down here and click on Choose Defaults for this program, and you'll see that every extension that's checked is currently defaulted to open up in the Windows Photo Viewer, except for bitmaps or BMP files, GIFs, GIF. If I want to go ahead and say any image file will always open up in the Windows Photo Viewer, just come up here, select all, click Save, that way it's much easier than having to go into each extension separately, but then again you notice over here that you're limited. There's only certain types of programs that can be associated with many types of files, and, well, images was one of them when it comes to the photo viewer. 
you can take a look at paint and paint has three out of the 14 defaults again you can choose the defaults for this program select it find out which ones are checked and which ones well you can even uncheck them if you want to but I won't and then click back and you can take a look at the others and see what types of files are currently associated with it and make the changes that work best for you otherwise if you don't see it here you can have to do it separately by extension thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for all my training please visit me at my website dreamforce.us